And uh, many people say, and actually uh, in the beginning of the program I said that we'll give our international audience to decide whether it's true that the Russian women are, are, are the most beautiful in the world. We had Oksana Fedorova in this universe a couple of years ago. Now yourself, who is Russian uh, while being, uh, being a Canadian citizen, uh, do you agree looking at Russian women uh, as a grown-up uh, 12 years later that the Russian women are really uh, the most beautiful women in the world? I would say Russian women are one of the most beautiful women in, in the world. I've traveled to many different countries and I've seen beauty everywhere. Of course beauty is different for everyone but everywhere I go people ask me, you know, what nationality are you? And when they say I'm Russian they say, well no wonder, <laughs> which is a big compliment for me. But I think definitely Russian women hold something in their personality such as femininity, warmth, um, they're very classy as well and I think that is why. Did you have a chance to mix with people here really, to, to go, I don't know, to go to parties, to clubs, to somewhere, or, or is it all official, formal and just being a, a, an icon, a representative for the cause? Well for this particular trip again, it's been a very uh, condensed uh, trip, so it's all been to do with HIV and AIDS, but we did uh, kick off the um, Russian Fashion Week at, um, at one of our Russian clubs here in Moscow. And it was, you know, kind of combining pleasure with business. Do you have any friends here? And any people you met uh, just privately? In Moscow? Absolutely. I do have a few friends, um, friends that I grew up with. Um, and two really good friends of mine uh, live here in Moscow and I got a chance to visit with them last night. What do they do? What do they do professionally? Yeah. Uh, one of them is a customs broker and uh, the other one works in fashion. So, so one of them is a man and the other one is a woman? No, bo both are uh, girls. Oh, both are girls. Yes. So you don't have any boyfriends here? No. What about a boyfriend in Canada? I unfortunately don't have time for any kind of a relationship or to even start anything and I'm very focused right now on my career and just uh, setting goals for myself in career. So really no boyfriend, no relationship at this moment. Okay, we'll talk about your career in a minute after the news and brief on Russia Today, so stay with us. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm Al Grinov. And just a reminder that our guest today is Miss Universe 2005, Natalia Glebova. And she will stay Miss Universe until July 2006. That's all. You started talking about your career. And we'll talk about your career in a minute. But first, I want to ask you another uh, couple of questions about your mission, about what you're doing around the world. So, the main mission of Miss Universe is to, is to uh, uh, campaign against AIDS. And actually, that you have a red bracelet. It, 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 it isn't a fashion thing. Uh, as far as I understand, it's sort of a sign for your campaign. Is it right? That's right. Uh, you know, and, and you know, a lot of people wear them, and it certainly is to show that the person is definitely concerned about this issue, is thinking about this issue, and is doing something in the fight against HIV and AIDS. I also and have. You, a, you, uh, yeah. Yes, you have this. Uh, <laughs> you have this ribbon. Why don't you wear it on your uh, on your lapel, and rather wear it. Yeah. You know why? Because I change my clothes so frequently throughout the day. It's easier to leave it on my sash, and uh, the sash is always, always, uh, always pretty much there. always on when I'm in the media, when I'm in the public. So it's always right there. How many costumes do you have down there in your car? <laughs> <laughs> We're heading back to the hotel where I'll have a quick change, and that's how it is throughout the day. Many different changes. Okay, and now uh, let's talk about uh, a bit about your career. Well, first of all, I know that you were a motiva motivational speaker before you became Miss Universe. Usually, motivational speakers uh, in North America are very famous people, sportsmen, top models. Uh, how come you became a motivational speaker? Because you were not well, this well known even in your city. Well, I became a motivational speaker after I had won Miss Universe Canada title. Uh -huh. That's how it all came to be. And what's, it started really as an inspirational school tour where I visited schools around the Toronto area and went to high schools, elementary schools and talked to kids really about things like peer pressure, dangers of drugs and smoking, staying in school and following your dreams. I see. So, uh, 
After this uh, year is over, you said you don't be thinking about your career, don't even get engaged in serious relationships. So, uh, what career are you thinking of? A model? Uh, or uh, maybe uh, you're going to be majoring uh, in what you studied in university or something else? Definitely want to continue what I studied in university. I graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce and in Information Technology Management and Marketing from Ryerson University. And I feel that my path and my heart belongs in business. I'd like to continue studying eventually and get a master's degree in possibly marketing uh, or communications. And eventually uh, my goal is to have my own business. That's always been a dream of mine. Um, for now I want to continue working around the world with different companies and help them out with their marketing and promotion. Wouldn't it be easier from your present position to start a career in modeling and fashion industry and uh, advertising or something? I don't think it, that it would be easier. Honestly, Honestly, Miss Universe opens doors for me in any career of my choice, and past uh, title holders, past Miss Universes, have started careers in a wide uh, variety of careers, such as you know, acting, politics, uh, some are doctors, uh, entertainment and business, and you name it. Okay, uh, well, Aksana Fedorova, your Russian predecessor uh, uh, as Miss Universe, a couple of years ago, she won the title and she quit. She didn't want to participate in all that yearly work and travel. Do you think she missed the opportunities? Do you think she made the right choice or not? What would you say? It is honestly not for me to say whether or not she's made the right yeah, choice. Yeah, but what do you think? <laughs> I think that she has done what she thought was right. And I believe in always following your heart when it comes to decisions about your career and your life. So definitely, for everyone, the situation is different. And I'm sure that she has made a decision that was right for her at the Yeah, time. she was a presenter on Russian TV. Have you seen her on TV? I haven't. Yeah, no. yeah she, she, she makes a daily children's program. Of course, I remember that program yeah, when yeah, I was yes. little. I watched I'm not sure, Melissa. Do you remember that program? Yes, I she do. She does it now. She Wonderful. Does it now. Well, if I had stayed in Russia more, I'm sure I would have caught it on TV. You want to meet her? I would love to. Why not? Gotcha. You, have yeah. to, you have to go to the TV center. It's, it's so far <laughs> away from here. You, you, sure. you, you can meet her. Okay. Uh, 